So, we just discussed what a while loop is in our previous bit, you can say. But let's move on to the next piece of um, piece of loop or coding is for loops. Now, what is a for loop? Let's read the definition that's given in WD schools. A for loop is used for er iterating over a sequence. That is either a list, a tuple, a dictionary, a set, or a string. Now, you guys will understand this later. But this is less like the for keyword in other programming languages. It works more like an iterator. iterator method as a, as found in other object-oriented programming languages. Now, basically what this means is that it's, it's used as a loop. In other programs, it's not really used as a loop. With the for loop, we can execute a set of statements. Once for each item in a list, tuple, set, etc. That was good. So here we have an example. Print each fruit in a fruit list. So let's click the try yourself. Here we can see that the fruits is equal to apple, banana, cherry, um, and now for X and fruits and print X. Uh, so basically what we're doing is we're setting a list as we know a grocery list um, will contain the stuff you need to buy or something like that. So a fruits, the fruits list contains uh, fruits like apple, banana, cherry, and you know what, just for my sake, I actually ran it, but I wanna add another fruit, mango. I like mangoes. Doesn't really matter if it's uppercase. I can honestly put on anything I want, but you know what? Just stick with the stick with the other um, way that these spelled. Now, what's different in a, different in a while loop and a for loop is that a while loop keep on go, keeps on going until a statement is met. Now, in for loops, it's kind of predefined where. Here you can see for x in fruits. Now to make more sense, I'm gonna name this variable. It's x is what's a variable. I'm gonna name it fruit. Now what what is this gonna do? Fruit is equal to apple, banana, cherry, mango. Now for fruit in fruits, um, it's gonna basically go through ev every single I guess fruit in the list of fruits, and be like, okay, it's gonna print apple. Then it's gonna print banana. Then it's gonna print cherry. Then it's gonna print mango, right? So for every fruits and fruit, print X. Now, and for any, uh, for everyone who's watching this, pause the video and try to figure out a mistake that's actually in this program. I'll give you guys a second to think about it. So, did someone find it? If you said that the X was wrong. You are completely right because for fruit, um, this fruit that I'm mentioning over here, it's not defined previously. It is a new variable that is get, getting defined when we are making our for loop for fruit. And as we see, if we have seen previously, there's a tab, of course. And so this is what if I run this, it's going to give me an error saying, what is X? Trace that, um prompt.py name or, name x is not defined where is x in this program right so here if i put fruit fruit and then i run it it should run and print me apple banana cherry mango as it did so that's a very basic in a list and for some of you guys probably got it and for people who don't it's fine you guys could probably go to this site and there's a lot of things now let's try this one this is a string. This is not a list. This is going through a string. A string is a set of characters that we can put between these two quotation marks. Now, again, we're using this for x. Another thing that you want to remember is that there's a semicolon, or not a semicolon, a colon. Where is a semicolon? You know what? It's it's one of the either. I cannot remember. Um. Editor put like subtitles in where I messed up or or yeah if you have good editing skills. But anyways, um for X and banana, print X. Now what is this gonna do? You have basically X, which is gonna print in banana, so B A N A N B A N A N A. I cannot spell banana, but print X. So it's gonna go through every single character. So as we see I've seen already, it's gonna print B A N A N A. Now, if I put in, I literally am spamming my computer. If I do this, what is it gonna print? It's gonna print every single character in that string. 